We're here with Shane Ober, lawyer, and Mitchell Creter to talk about this and what they're bringing to the table at the Superior Maker Fest. So Shane, explain what exactly you will be offering at this festival. Yeah, so um, we're, we're going to have a lot of different um, tables and stations that will be set up that are going to be, you know, targeted toward a different age range, you know, adults, college kids, um, you know. And um, one of the things that we want to highlight is, just like you said, 3D printing, um, we'll have 3D printers set up and printing things. Um, and we're also going to have a station where we can, you know, do scanning of, like, you know, 3D scanning and get models of people's heads so we can actually email it away to them so they can print it at home. So this is all just uh, just for the, to inspire people and, and to give people an experience and to show them how far people can go with with these different um, makers. And, 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 it's, and it's really just for a demonstration and for fun. Yeah, I mean, sometimes it's just that, that hands-on thing could be that, you know, um, last shove that pushes people toward the path of really pursuing this as a hobby. Yeah. What um, brought you into this field and, and, and decided to participate and, and get your hands into this stuff? Yeah, so I'm a student at Michigan Tech, uh, but honestly, Dr. Shane here, he, he really inspired me to really get into engineering. You know, I, was a, I studied electrical engineering, um, but he, I'm in the open, open source hardware enterprise, and he really got me involved with 3D printing. I took his 3D printing class, so now I've started, you know, printing stuff at my house and just kind of designing my own just tools around the house that I can use, and definitely Shane was a big part of that. So to be able to share this with the community and the people that will be at the Makers Fest, uh, is that a big part of the experience for you? Oh, absolutely, yeah. I, I kind of see myself as a way that Shane kind of was to me, just that little push in the right direction. That once you get that little spark, once you find something that somebody gets interested in, man, the possibilities are endless. Yeah, yeah. Shane, what is open source hardware enterprise and, and how does it work with students at Michigan Tech? Yeah, so the open source hardware enterprise is a group at Michigan Tech. It was part of our enter enterprise mm -hmm. program. Um, and our focus is really on making low cost technologies that solve all sorts of problems and uh, being able to share them. That's a big part of open source. And so that's why it fits so well with MakerFest is because our idea is to be um, taking ideas and sharing them and inspiring people. What problem are you solving here? Um, well, <laughs> uh, yeah, to, to actually design something like this, right? So this is our friend Nikola Tesla. Um, so we don't actually have his face to really scan. And so this was something that would have to be um, modeled by hand, which can be a kind of tedious process. And so one of the things that we're going to be highlighting at MakerFest is this um, 3D scanner where you'll have the ability to sit down and have your face scanned. And that's something that you could eventually turn into a 3D printable file. So you won't be making the 3D models at Makers Fest, but you'll be giving people the tools to be able to do that for themselves. Exactly, yes. Yeah, um, it, it's one of those things that takes quite a while to actually print well, so. How long would it take to create something like that? Uh, I think I was printing at a pretty high resolution here, so I think this is like a, a 12 to 20 hour print, somewhere wow. in that range, yeah. So it takes a while. Yeah. Um, but this is actually printed a while ago, so technology has improved. And how long does it take to do the actual scan? Well, the scan is pretty quick. We can do it right now if you want. We really do want to do it right now. Well, and Tia, over Tia the camera. is so anxious to get the scan. So while he's scanning and she's sitting very still, right? She has to sit very still. Explain the process to our viewers at home. What, what are they seeing? What are they watching? Yeah, so it's actually um, pushing out something called structured light. And so it's bouncing off of Tia's face and then getting captured by camera. And the way that structure deforms, um, is you can see in the back screen, is getting picked up. And it can actually tell you a little bit about the shape of Tia's face. And so what we're going to do is we're actually going to start scanning right now, and Mitch is going to um, steer around. And Tia, um, what I'm going to ask you to do is keep very stone-faced, almost like a statue, and with your feet, start rotating around the chair. And Mitch is going to, um, maybe you can go a little bit faster than that. And you can actually see on the screen, it's starting to construct a model of Tia's face. Can she breathe? Can she blink, or should be she, should she be holding her breath? No, I, she, she's she's able to breathe and move her okay. eyes a little bit. Atia, come around the other way now. And Mitch is actually going to go up, change the angles just a little bit, just to make sure that we're getting um, measurements in all parts. You can actually see that her hair isn't showing up, um, so we don't have our settings quite right. Um, so her hair is actually kind of absorbing or reflecting that light in a way that the sensor doesn't like. Um, but we do have a, a pretty good representation of her face now, so we can actually stop the scan. And we're going to let it build here for a couple seconds. Um, and we'll actually be able to move that around in 3D space. And so um, it takes a little extra effort to get that to the point where it's um, 3D printable. Um, 
But yeah. Why, why is 3D printing important? Why is this something we should be excited about? Yeah, so um, what, why it's so approachable for makers is that it doesn't take a lot of work to get started with, right? You just need a 3D printer, and you don't have to have years of training to make something work. It's just a couple of YouTube videos or just a little, little bit of um, experimentation, and you can be printing right away. Um, so, and it's easy for me to design something and share it with you, and then you can print it at home. Yeah. It looks like our, our model there is done. Let's take a look at Tia, the 3D model. So telling you that I have a big head? <laughs> no. Look how pretty you look. I want that printed. I want a bust of me in my home. That'd be <laughs> something I would do. Well, guess what? You can take can that. You can, can take, take that it. to a printer. A 3D. Do you know any 3D printers? Nope. You do now. Yeah, I do. Da, I da, 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 and da, 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 da. You, have, you know two. <laughs> well, this that is very very cool. So again, you will be at the Superior Makers Fest with this, and people can come talk to you, and and they can get a scan of their faces. That's correct. Yep. Awesome. Yep. Awesome. Hope to see you there. Any other uh, big uh, demonstrations that you'll be doing that day? Yeah, so um, we'll, we'll likely have electronics demonstrations, um, hands-on things like Arduino. It's really popular with hobbyists, um, just a really entry-level entry, entry level electronics platform. Um, and then we have more demos that we're going to see that might be um, like woodworking. And all of our vendors are also going to have, um, to some extent, hands-on or at least um, some sort of interactive display that you can witness. Awesome. Well, I hope you have a great time, and thanks for making a scan of Tia. You just <laughs> checked something off of her list. Yes, you did. Now we've got to find. Well, now we've got to get the bust. <laughs> now I got to find a printer. <laughs> All right. We have so much more for you. Stick around. We'll be right back.